turret has been destroyed. Fine. I'll do it myself. Good day guys, nice to have you here. In today's video I'll show you a gameplay where we almost lost and I'll discuss the reasons why so that you won't have to make the same mistakes. This is going to be a long video but if you want to learn from our mistakes and become a better player, stay tuned. The first reason why our team had a very difficult time was our lineup itself. As you can see, most of our heroes were more effective against single targets, while the opposing team had a pretty strong teamfight advantage because of their AoE skills and AoE crowd control. Our only advantage is having Nathan since he's pretty good right now. While I agree Layla did improve significantly because of the stun they gave her, but Nathan is still a better marksman in most situations because of his damage output and ability to deal damage to multiple targets. The first mistake I made was I did not cut the lane. Hilda has a pretty good advantage at level 1 because of how powerful her second skill is, which allows her to clear minions quickly. Thomas does not have a skill capable of effectively preventing Hilda from clearing the minions. The only time Thomas will have the upper hand is if he outfarms Hilda. If you're wondering why I did not cut the lane, well, I was just dozing off and zoned out for a moment. I guess I was too tired to play. The good news is the Thomas player does not have knowledge on hero stats so he wasn't aware of how much advantage Hilda had at level 1. So this happened. Remember guys, I know it's difficult but try your best to be as knowledgeable as possible by reading hero skills and hero stats. The early game is equally as important if not more important than the late game and knowing heroes, strengths and weaknesses is always a plus. In this game, I used high and dry with points focused on damage and penetration in order for Hilda to gain a significant laning advantage over Thomas. Since Thomas decided to recall, we were able to deny some minions during his absence. The only problem is the turtle is about to appear in a few seconds, but my allies weren't prepared yet to secure it. At that moment in the game, I knew we were either going to lose or we'll have a very hard time winning. Yet again, another successful lane freeze. We were able to force Thomas to retreat, which is good, especially since, like I said earlier, the turtle is about to appear. And because of the damage we inflicted, he was discouraged to join in taking the turtle and instead focus on clearing the minions to gain some golden experience. I knew Thomas was going to recall, so I took away the Cyclone Eye in order to remove one of the best tools in the game when it comes to contesting major objectives. This is where the problem is. Instead of attacking the turtle, Hanzo should have attacked Balmond. That would have possibly given us a hero kill and also the turtle. But since he didn't, this is what happened. Get over here! Franco failed to use his ultimate on Thomas. That would have been an easy kill. Luckily for us, Balma decided to clear our minions. That means once Thomas gets back, he wouldn't have anything to gain gold and experience from, which will further increase the gap we have in terms of gold and experience. Why so grim? This is probably the worst mistake I made in the game and probably the worst mistake I made within the entire season. Because of this, I lost the bottom lane to Thomas. To make matters worse, I did not even gain anything significant from joining in that teamfight. 
Instead of joining the fight, I should have just cleared the mid lane minions and then went back to the bottom lane in order to defend it. After all, 5 minutes have already passed, which means the turret shields were already gone. Our turret has been destroyed. Because the enemies were able to take the turtle and also destroy a couple of our turrets, they were able to gain significant gold and experience. So much so that Thamus now has an advantage over Hilda. As you can see, Hilda only has advantage against Thamus at level 1 to 3 and also if Hilda has more items. But since Thamus was level 8 and has equivalent items with Hilda, it was really impossible to win against him one on one. The turtle is about to appear again, yet our teammates weren't prepared to take it. Not sure why Hanzo did not engage the enemy team. At that point, he really should have done so in order to drive them away from the turtle. Look at this, making his ghost ninja dance around. Oh well, that was the third turtle we lost. Remember guys, never ever take the turtle for granted. It is a very important objective since it rewards the entire team that takes it down. If you're a jungler, you really have to be very knowledgeable and capable of making decisions quickly. Otherwise, you'll end up in the same situation as our Hanzo player. I was supposed to buy Blade of Despair, but since the enemies were starting to scale very well, I had to focus more on getting on Tick Karas. Obviously, we were getting manhandled by Thamus and also Balmain. No worries though, because in a few minutes, Hilda will manhandle them both. Stay tuned. Since Thomas has been joining team fights, this is our chance to gain some golden experience. Take advantage of situations like that and you'll only really be able to do so if you have good map awareness. Having good map awareness helps you make better decisions. The enemies disappeared so I had to recall. I wasn't really sure where they were and since our bottom turret was gone, they have stronger map control which makes ganks easier for their team. I had to be extra careful. I'm confident that Nathan can take Thomas down, so instead of chasing Thomas, I decided to check the bushes around Nathan. In that game, Nathan was really our hope since the game was getting dragged to the late game. Remember guys, kills are not always the priority, especially if you're an XP laner. Prioritize other things like zone control, and if your allied carry will take the kill instead of you, don't feel bad about it. In fact, in most cases, it might be a better idea to let your carry take the kill. Our mid lane was at risk of getting destroyed. Instead of recalling, I decided to clear the minions. Anyway, Balmond was pretty busy with my teammates. I was certain that the enemies were taking the Lord, and the truth is, we won't be able to contest it especially since Hanzo was underperforming. So it was a better idea to make sure our lanes were cleared of enemy minions. Why so Since they were busy on the mid lane, I decided to go to the top lane to push it a little more. I'll get you through. I took away that cyclone eye in order to prevent the enemies from easily ganking me while I am attacking the Lord. Step aside! The goal was to prevent the Lord and the enhanced minions from reaching our turrets since they deal such a huge damage against structures. 
Well, mission success. Why so grim? That should scare him. That damage you just saw is the reason why I purchased War Axe for that game. Under normal conditions, I will not buy War Axe at all. However, our enemies were Thamus, Thalmud, and Gatot, and those heroes are ideally built with high defense and HP. Since they will purchase more items like that, that means most of our clashes will last longer than the usual clash, therefore allowing War Axe to gain max stacks in most clashes. The more stacks it gains, the higher its damage gets and the greater armor reduction it will inflict on the enemies, which will allow Hilda's ultimate to unlock its full potential against high HP targets. Since I got the Holy Trinity of Ultimate Physical Defense, it will be pretty hard for their heroes to take Hilda down. The only problem was against Vexana since Hilda in that game had very low magic defense. That game, we had to make sure we take care of our bottom lane minions and clear as much enemy minions as possible. Remember, in that game, it was the weakest lane since it no longer had the third turret. And since it's the weakest lane, the Lord will be summoned on that lane if the enemy team takes him down. Request backup. It's high time we test their metal. Take advantage of Hilda's regeneration and excellent mobility and try not to stay too long in battle for a continuous length of time. Instead, practice the technique of engage, disengage, and re-engage. This is a very simple teamfight technique. Basically, you attack enemies in order to apply stacks which will reduce their defenses. Then when your HP is a bit low, disengage or rest a little and regenerate HP. Then re-engage in order to apply more stacks on the enemies. Finally, Hanzo got one. At that moment, I was genuinely happy, and I was starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Never turn down. Your team destroyed the turret. Remember not to waste too much time in camping. Take as much farm as you can get from the enemies and put the pressure. Especially since this is the late game, there really is not much point in camping. Just skip the pressure and make sure to take the buffs and the lord every chance you get. We were outnumbered since Hanzo was dead, so really it wasn't a bright idea to clash with the enemies. To even out the numbers, I decided to put pressure on the lane and make some of the enemies retreat. Because of that, my teammates were able to get an advantage in that fight. 
Again, don't be selfish. For an XP laner, kills aren't always everything. Sometimes, not joining the teamfight is what will help your team gain an advantage. In fairness to Selena and Franco, they did an excellent job providing vision to our team. Nathan really didn't need help to take down the Lord, so it was definitely a good idea for them to camp in that situation. Make some believe in this Our physical defense was too high for them. The calm An ally has been slain. Can't face me head on. Cosmos favors us this day. Not sure what Franco was doing there. Again guys, if you're playing as a roamer, there's no point for you split pushing unless you are an assault roamer with high damage output since you won't be able to clear minions and destroy structures quickly. 100% of the time, if you're playing as a tank roamer, it's best if you will join team fights and ganks instead. That's the only problem. I had very low magic defense in that game, so I got smacked by Vexana. They're not known for their patience. That concludes our Mobile Legends game guide for today. Did I miss any other recommendations applicable in that game? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone. Peace.